Hi, my name is Eric Luther, Vice President of Products here at Cesium Astro, and we've been pioneering a new active phased array technology to support L-band tactical data links. We're specifically focused on link 16 frequencies, but the technology is scalable to support a wide range of applications. Active phased arrays are a key technology, enabling more resilient, real-time tactical data for the warfighter. We just celebrated our five-year anniversary in January of 22. In that time, we have successfully delivered hardware and a number of contracts, both commercial and defense, including L-band communications, missile defense, in-flight connectivity, swarm-based satellite communications, and are planning our next spacecraft demonstration for October of 22. We were founded by Shay Saberpour, a 35-year industry veteran with over 25 years of experience at Lockheed Martin developing communications systems supporting geo and deep space missions. As we build our company, we have over 80 engineers and have maintained a level of rigor uncommon among startups. So we're not a startup anymore. We're building end-to-end -end payloads and we're not just an antenna company. We're building bits to RF. And unlike most startups, we have manufacturing capability in-house and a manufacturing partner with over a million square feet doing high rail devices manufacturing. That gives us the ability to take what we're building in our MPI facility and scale that to meet any volume that's necessary as we go forward. For this particular project, our objective was to develop a tactical communications payload for small commercial satellites that enables communications with tactical users. We succeeded in designing an L-band array that's very wide bandwidth and meets this challenging environment without the need for new radio terminals or modifications, so it can communicate with ships, aircraft, and other platforms. It's small and softer to find, offering the right balance between performance, size, weight, and power. If you look at traditional antenna solutions, typically they fall into two categories. The first is an omnidirectional antenna, which means it can communicate in all directions. So you can put this on the side of your spacecraft and you can generally receive signals in a full half sphere around the satellite. This is great whenever you need low data rate communications that you need to be able to close the link regardless of which way a satellite is pointing. However, if you need a higher data rate, you typically need a fixed beam solution. These typically point in a single direction at a time, but also can travel over longer distances. In order to point that beam, you need to either, either need to physically move the satellite or use some type of gimbaled solution to mechanically steer the satellite or the antenna or the dish in order to point that antenna. Active phased arrays are very exciting because they allow you to use uh, generally uh, omnidirectional antennas at lower power, but allow those signals to add at a target location to create a beam. So this allows you to then weight those different elements and steer that beam and actually steer multiple beams. So an AESA solution allows you to electrically steer the beams with all of the advantages of a fixed beam solution in terms of the ability to direct RF energy in a particular direction. This works in our situation for a low frequency phased array, which are difficult to design, and we've solved this challenge. And also we've constructed it for the space environment, which is particularly challenging. All of this to the benefit of the warfighter, who we want to be able to support as many links as possible, make them secure, resilient to jamming, but do that in a way that doesn't require the physical satellite to move. Active phase array are a fantastic solution for this. Cesium Astro's active phase array solution for L-band is a turnkey payload, allowing multi-beam support that includes the beam former, the electronics, and power conditioning. It's a modular antenna with elements that can combine to create any size array and can be supported for both space and airborne deployments. It's resistant to jamming, has increased security by focusing the energy, 
and reduces the number of satellites needed to cover a theater because multiple beams are supported. It supports both transmit and receive across a wide frequency range at steering angles to plus and minus 60 degrees, which can be adjusted through element spacing and, and other uh, modifications. And the beam steering is almost instantaneous at less than 30 microseconds to steer. Typically a fixed antenna, you have a tracking speed in degrees per second. In this case, we can track instantaneously. We support single, multiple beams, and multiple polarizations. We've matured this technology through the lab and in the range, building physical prototypes, analyzing and characterizing them. We've done multiple antenna elements at this point. The next step is to scale up the array and fly it on a CubeSat demonstration mission and then move as quickly as possible to a fieldable demo system. This has significant benefits to the warfighter. And the next step really is to put this on orbit and test it in the environment. This technology is exciting for a number of reasons. First, you don't need to modify existing infrastructure. This only needs to impact the satellite or the system that it's mounted on for doing the communications. We can support a wide range of radio standards. It can support encrypted waveforms, non-encrypted waveforms. It's really agnostic in many ways to the waveform that's being used. We have the ability to point beams, multiple beams, to support seamless connectivity across sea, air, and land. And ultimately, it reduces the operational complexity because you don't need to steer the satellite to point the beam. There's a significant deployment opportunity ahead. We're ready for initial prototypes to be deployed in 23, and it could be hosted on a dedicated satellite or with other payloads. It's also rugged and cost-effective, and it reduces the number of satellites that would be needed in a final deployment with multi-beam support. We're looking for partners to help us raise the TRL. We'd like to fly a demo satellite mission in the 22-23 timeframe. And we'd like these on-orbit tests to validate the use of this array and raise its TRL. And leveraging our existing communications modules for software-defined radio and the back end is all taken care of. So at this point, we're looking for a transition advocate so that we can put this onto a CubeSat or some other on-orbit demonstration in 23 and start using this in the field in 24. Yes, that timeline is aggressive, but we have the resources and the manufacturing infrastructure and the engineering capability to support it. Now we're looking for a partner to help us take this and move it to the next level. And for these types of programs, other transition use cases are really important. Our L-band ESA serves a broad range of applications. It is L-band, these are very common frequencies, and at the core of many of our telecommunication systems that we have today. We can support all branches of, of the DOD. It can be utilized around the world and spans numerous applications. We support increased capacity. We can provide increased quality of service. This technology improves wireless security and provides greater immunity to jamming. Some of the example applications might include commercial telecom, public safety and emergency response, augmentation to global navigation, GNSS, as well as electronic warfare and spectrum sensing. This type of technology is very flexible and can be used to monitor spectrum, to communicate, and overall to improve the spectral efficiency of how you're using your spectrum, getting the data to your users in electronically steered a way that was previously only possible with single beam directional antennas. If this technology is something you're interested, we'd very much like to connect. You can reach out to me, Eric Luther, at our product's email address, or you can contact us at cesiumastro.com to learn more about our technology and I look forward to discussing more how we can 
utilize active phased array, both L-band and our wide range of other frequencies to support your communications need in space and high reliability systems in challenging environments. We really believe phased arrays are gonna revolutionize the way we work in the communications industry, the way people communicate and ultimately benefit the warfighter and commercial applications through this innovative new approach. Thank you and look forward to connecting.